Hello everyone, Greenguard here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Surgeons. <laughs> Ooh, hiccups. It's been a while. It's been so long. And also, I, I don't, I'm kind of afraid because you already know the team's levels are all over the place because I needed to tr train up my Pokemon for the episode. And I, my original plan was training from level 48. Only two people got there and I realized that after I posted my new recording schedule, which you guys already know about, I do have to put up an episode today. Oh my gosh, hiccup! Have to put up an episode today so I didn't have time to fully train. So I kind of shot myself in the foot with the timing of this recording schedule, but it's whatever. So I already, yep, I'm just turning off the episode by obtaining the Delta Venus, alright? So that's really cool because if you got, didn't check out the last episode, we um, got the Mega Ring. Also, well, I think it's a good time to mention, I do recommend that you do check out the video I posted about the new recording schedule just because that will explain why I won't be uploaded, why there will be no videos going up tomorrow. When what the no usual thing was is I've been keeping a fairly consistent daily pace of uploading. That's not going to be the case anymore and you guys want to know why, so definitely go check out that. Ah, pickups video. But yeah, we are going to be using Mega Miss Rhyme. First time seeing its Mega Evolution. Delta Venusaur, i never seen this thing before. What the? <laughs> what is that thing? That thing looks hilarious. Oh my gosh, it's so powerful. That's awesome. <gasps> Wait, it's special attack rose? What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? I mean, sure, it typed it for our first mega, but I'm com Ability hubris. Boost special attack after knocking out. So it's like a special attack in Moxie. That's overpowered. That's insane. I'm already loving this new mega. Miss Unfortunate for you that you missed the sky attack. Okay, yep, this is gonna be a sweeper Pokemon. And then of course they throw out a shell on next. It's not surviving. No, sir. Not against this OP superpower Mecha Venus or Death Machine Hubris of Lostness. Yes, this is just and we're gonna be using Mega Miss Ryan for the rest of this episode. We're gonna try to at least. Cause actually Miss Ryan's gonna be have a lot of use in this battle actually. I mean in the upcoming battle because the upcoming gym is also I did not make the best move because I somehow forgot that this was a bug type. Still did a ton so also my fairy typing is good. Yeah but this thing is a fairy type and the upcoming gym is dragon and fl flying I believe. I also know it may, I know it has a mega, but I'm not gonna tell you guys. But I played through it before, and I and unless it has a different mega, I'm pretty sure fairy types, fairy type, will be pretty effective against said mega. I think, cause that's my plan. Other the other plan to take up that mega. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it, Miss Ryan. If Miss Ryan is actually good against the thing, that's the only thing thing to take it hit. Also. Miss Ryan versus Poison type, it's like a dragon on dragon matchup, because Poison types are still super effective than it, than it, which makes no sense to me, because Psychic is resistant to Poison, but I can't really question it. Also, do we have any healing items? We got the Moon Milks, but I'll use this super, actually, no, that Super Potion did nothing. What am I thinking? Let's use them. Okay, let's actually put someone else up front, just because. If you guys saw the unlimitedly awesome the the awesome power of Mega Miss Ryan. So that goes like the under level one, but even then and when she was gonna evolve level fifty five, it stinks that it won't be able to evolve before the next gym. It really does. But it will be helpful now because is Rock Super effective against Ice I forgot. Either way, one shot it. Also, I don't, I think, oh, it went crunch now, finally. Okay, so when it has strong physical dark type movement, it evolves into Tyranitar. I'm actually, 
actually gonna, I think, actually it would not be smart if I missed A on Majira, because I was gonna send out uh, Marco, but then I realized Honchkrow's still flying tap, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, that foul play. See how low that brought us? Stay there's no way I'm staying in on that. This Zatu can probably deal a lot of damage to us, but Marco can also deal a lot of damage to it, so let's hope for that. I want to get... Jeez! Oh my gosh! This is like an offensive team, that's what I'm learning. I felt like when I played through the Delta Blasters, I was an defensive team, but this team, look at this. Like, it's slowly offensive. Like, we've got like... Oh my goodness, we cannot take hits on this team. And I don't even want to heal these up either because of my limitation of healing items. Flux 10 up front for now. Well, I'll heal them just because if we need to, we'll be in real trouble. No way we're already here. Oh gosh, this is not good. Are we ready? You know what? I believe in us. You guys, I'm going to go quickly. Heal go all the way. Actually, we can just heal up right here. We're gonna quickly do that. So while I'm doing this, this frustrating process, let's take a moment. We're almost halfway through the the current version of the game now. So let's take a moment to think about all, because this is what I want to do for, like, every, like, in every big milestone in the game, is remember all the Pokemon we have in the PC that have brought us through this journey, because without them, we not might not be here. So first off, well, I want to recognize, well, it's kind of hard to do when I'm constantly moving Pokemon out of the box to heal them. I also, guys, I might be getting—I'm getting my microphone really, really soon. Wait, I already did what I did. So yeah, definitely look forward to me getting a microphone because the background noise you are here right now probably will be no more. I will be doing an unboxing video of a microphone as a little extra thing when I get get it, so you guys will be able to see it. I'll teach you up. So now let's me take a moment to memorize. First up, we got this Beedrill that I caught for no reason. It really does did not do anything that is a recognition. Ha, ah, problemo. The electric type that helped us through a lot of the early game before we got fluxed in. Very good Pokemon. Axelenia. I wanna do I wanna recognize Pokemon that did stuff. Doesn't really deserve recognition. I caught it. Well then again, it's kinda sad because he got caught for no reason. And then again, I'm becoming that weirdo who treats Pokemon and the real. Kiata, very helpful fire type in the early game. Wouldn't have done anything. Wouldn't have been warrior without you. Same thing for JD. You were a big help. G Factor, still haven't changed his name. Kaboot up to caught in the Scientist Club. And Watcha, another Pokemon that we would not be here without. Okay, that's all. Let me just make sure that our team is healed going into this battle. You can just put Fluxton up front. Okay, we're gonna save. Now let's go. Alright, Ian, are you ready? We need to warn the auger that the sky calls on the way up, otherwise I blackmail him and summon you Rayquaza. Yes, sir, everything is already as you can. Whoa, 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 isn't this safe for Soros? Isn't that Damien and Anne from Tom Town? It's good to see you two again, but I must ask why you're here. Was it the challenger, Jim? If it was, you're in luck. East is here. East here is our very own sky theme gym leader. He excels in both dragon and flying types. N no, sir. We're here because because we over remember the sky cult talking. They they are wanted. There's typos in this, and I'm having major hiccups. They are want to summon Rayquaza, and they plan to blackmail you into helping them. That is a serious problem. You're positive that. Are you sure you heard him correct? Did you see that? If so, then this certainly is a problem. Not all the times to come, of course they pick now. 
I hope this won't have to happen, but what's done is done. Come on out, gentlemen. What? I actually already know about this, but yeah. I'm gonna pretend I'm surprised. What's going on, huh? huh? What's going on? Ah! Uh, why? Of course I get hiccups now. Before, like I had that drowsiness problem earlier today, and now I've got hiccups right before I start recording. I'm sorry about this, Damien. I truly am. You're so youthful and bright. It can't be helped. But you heard my, you heard my cultist said. There's some terrible grammar, and I can't let you leave with the chain to not connect the dots. Your your cultist? What do you mean? I am the leader of the Sky Cult. Surprise? You shouldn't be. When you think about it, it's pretty obvious. I created the Sky Cult several years ago, just before the Otter disappeared. We were a small group at first, a ragtag band, were united by a desire for one thing, change. <laughs> oh, these hiccups are gonna ruin the whole episode. You see, the Otter was the perfect hero of the people. Along with his partner, Hoopa, he defeated cult after cult, trying to bring good values to people's torrents, such as peace, love, and mercy. Being merciful, he forgave anyone who begged him to, letting criminals people go unpunished. As a result, the members of this man and cults join another one, making it completely pointless act. The augur was strong, but he was a coward. He wasn't able to do what was necessary to keep the region safe. So I dealt with him. What? And crowned myself his successor. With the new augur, we could cure the disease and plague and torn for good. What the heck? You killed the auto man? That's not cool. You could save the region forever. You'll never get away with this, you monster. Oh, but Damien already have with a bit of propaganda. Yeah, freaking. I'm surprised. That's how idiotic everyone in this region is. Like, Google, who would even believe that this, this like, clown who looks like... I was about to say... Like... I don't know my Dragon Ball Z. I was say he looks like Vegeta, but then I would get a ton of hateful comments. Like, oh my god, he has blonde hair, what's wrong with you? you he, but he looks weird, he looks weak. Oh, but Damien already had computer propaganda, I've already got a, a whole torrent on my side. That's why I can't let you two but only true identity. Realistically, no one will believe you, but it's a risk I can't take. <sighs> I want to capture Rokaiza. It's an incredible strength and control over the sky. It can be omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent. Here's the question I have. We heard the cultists talking. They did not know I was listening. Why didn't they make it seem like the auger was not on their side when they were talking? Unless unless they did know that we were listening in or something like that. That's what I don't understand. Then again, maybe it's just the jury in doing that, so the mystery was held. I could create a utopia free of war and crime. I refuse to be the count the first auger was. Any criminal, any threat to a perfect world must be removed. I found that this guy called Tommy reached this goal, and now we've accumulated all we need to summon Rayquaza. The sacrifice can begin. Rayquaza will be summoned, and he will be mine. The soon to be peaceful region will thrive under my command. Peace, get one of the cultists. It's time to start. Sir, I know we plan to sacrifice one of them. But since these kids are here, and are going to lose their lives in prison anyways, why not sacrifice one of them? We wouldn't need to waste any cultists. That's not a terrible idea, I just. After what Ian's done to me, I'll enjoy every second. What do we do, bro? That's not what? Are you kidding me? Is because we saved your life? Are you are you like gonna be that guy? Or are you just a sore loser or are you Wait a minute? Oh my gosh! I just had a thought, but I I hate spoiling things for my viewers, so but hmm. Oh, Damien, you asked, what, what has he done to you? Oh, he won't remember. He's nearly, yeah. I think I know. He's forgotten nearly everything. But he tried to save your life. He can't warn you about the sky color at Fairpoint. It would be hypocritical sacrifice you have to talk about a utopia, wouldn't it? Ian and the Serena Fingers will give you a fighting chance. The battle is east, and the loser gets used for the ritual. But, sir, why are you risking me? Why not use one of the grunts? You just asked to not use the grunts. Because, East, you're a gym leader. I'm sure you'll win. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, you'll see about that. East, should you question me? No, sir. Me and my un level Pokemon are going to kick your butt, East. Sorry about this, Ian. Nothing, it's nothing personal, but the Augur's orders are given. Here we go. Do we get our gym badge from this, even? I know this is the third gym leader. We so anyway, here we are, Ian versus East, third gym leader in the game. I see the little mega thing on his head. Good thing, very good thing actually, that we let off Flux in here. 
because his discharge is going to destroy that thing. Oh, well, I don't think he'll have spikes. If he does have spikes, then definitely a good thing. Also, I did not stop to think about the fact. Actually, sending in Noivern, sending in Marco is a terrible idea because if this Noivern outspeeds us, it can be trouble. Okay, but we landed ice crash. I should really. Now you see. Now I can't stay in. He's gonna go for another flamethrower. Anyone have any priority moves? And he. I'm stupid. I'm a stupid individual when it comes to Pokemon. Thank you for a crit. Thanks anyway, Marco. Now we're gonna probably have to waste Waggity to Icicle Spear. I'm pretty sure I remember what that. Oh, it's the five hit move. Sure, we'll get rid of Night Slash. If I probably used Hail, then I could have taken advantage of the Ice Cleats. And then Marco probably would have outspeeded the, um, what's it called? You know. Ah, I, I forgot! The Noivern. Oh my god, Fluxton, can you take, can you take a water type attack? That's so dumb. It's, not, it's an electric type, for God's sake. Can't even take a water type, a hydro pump. I'm getting ready to destroy this thing. <laughs> Surprised we got a better fairy type move. Like, Miss Ryan's moveset was really strong in the beginning. Now it's kind of weakened a bit. I guess I still, I'm waiting for that moon blast. Also, now I'm going to try and stay in with Miss Ryan throughout the rest of the battle because of the hubris he shouldn't have sword stance actually this could this could be bad oh my dear gosh what did he send in I'm gonna use Zeko as he for healing people right now that seems like a smart move yeah we're in some trouble So far, the fight was going okay, but now I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, he has a Mega Altaria Dragon Fairy type. This is this is this is gonna be a pain in my butt. This thing right here is gonna be what kills me. Okay, and if Fluxton was alive. Oh crap! Now we have fairy type moves. Those fairy type moves will hurt so bad. You see, Hyper Voice, it has Pixelate. That's why it was super effective. Okay, hopefully, 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 it has nothing to take out Miss Ryan. Miss the Hyper Beam. Even if it. Okay, I think we're gonna take it out. I think we're gonna take it out, but Marco's dead though, and that n makes me nervous. For whatever la whatever its last Pokemon is, Gliscor. Of course, it's a Gliscor. Please no! Yes, yes, we did it, guys. We beat Helio City Gym Leader East. Whoa! And also we live too. That that's cool. Also, oh man, poor guys, just like please. I don't even care. I lost, I don't believe it. I'm disappointed, East. I'd love to change my mind and save you, but I can't. I made a promise, and a strong ruler keeps his promises. I'm sorry, and farewell. Wow, that seemed quick. I'm starting to not feel bad for him anymore. In my mind's eye, I see a region filled with love. It's far off, almost an unachievable dream. Death on the way to that goal is triviality. Triviality. East sacrifice was not in vain, especially now that I'm using some in Rekaza. You can follow me on the roof if you want. Try and stop me, I dare you, but be warned, I'm not going to spare you twice. Okay, so we're free to roam. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will follow him up the stairs, which next episode will be on Saturday. So yeah, in the next episode, we will follow him up the stairs, so be look forward to that. See you all on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.